Hi all, welcome to this EPL November Play of the Month SBC Guide. Hopefully you find this useful as always. If we can smash the likes, it would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at G is Legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. And apologies if I sound a bit scratchy or crackly in my throat. Just suffering from a little bit under the weather. But hopefully you find this useful, folks. I was going by the thumbnail, Sani, Sterling and David Silva seem to be the main three to expect for November's Player of the Month. But obviously, you never know once the official vote and whoever wins from there. But for Sani, I'm thinking you could see a few interesting ways that they could go about it. Where they go four routes, six routes, you never know. We've obviously suggested six different routes here for the video. We've got a Premier League 84 rated, four EPL, one or two informs, 90 chemistry. Smart way of going about with the EPL way could be like your Mkhitaryan, Gundogan. Gundogan's probably going to be the most common player bought for this, I would imagine. Maybe even um, Ederson and Otmendi just as well. So be prepared for those three particular cards being well used. Even Fernandinho, so be prepared for that kind of option. Manchester, and that kind of ties into the Man City aspect of 84 rated, 3 Man City, 1 or 2 in forms and 90 chemistry. I'm kind of hoping we don't get, like say, a full EPL squad that's 84 rated. Otherwise, pretty much every EPL player from your Casper Schmeichels to your Lacazettes to Bernardo Silva, who will be another commonly bought player for this, I just about forgot about him. Then you've got obviously like company, old companies another, older were old. Uh, for Tongan, um, even like your informs like Mui, Fraser, um, I'm trying to think who else pick for these type of players. Anyone that's like an inform or eighty four plus is pretty much just going to get over like so over invested, and it may in fact prices f not say necessarily for the good. It might just hamper them a little bit. Obviously November. And this applies to all three of them, is a 83 rated squad of 1 Southampton, 1 Manchester United and then 1 West Ham where, not it hap where we get that kind of no November base route as a different matter obviously one in form I would suspect from it and then going from there you would have obviously your standard 90 chemistry seems about fair enough to put together where not they opt to go that way is a different matter with Sani, you've got Bundesliga, 84 raid, 4 Bundesliga, 1 or 2 in form 90 chemistry, it ties into his Schalke days. With David Silva, you'd imagine they may tap into the Spanish influence from 84, 85 raid Spain squad, 4 Spain, 1 or 2 in forms, 90 chemistry. With Spain, don't be surprised to see Iniesta constantly mentioned if David Silva is featured. And I mean, it, they'll say, oh, Iniesta now has a use for this SBC. Don't suddenly jump on that bandwagon, guys. Honestly, people will jump on saying that Iniesta will be heavily desired for it. When folk have got to remember as well, you can consider Asensio, Aspas, Illarreal Mendy, then your 83s like Moreno and Adariz, then Nacho Fernandez, Asensio, and Goal, um, Roberto, and Carvajal. So, and people as well will kind of say, oh, you might need David Silva, so be prepared that people will mention that as well. Like, there's no guarantee that David Silva will be needed, there's no guarantee Sterling will be needed, there's no guarantee Sani will be desired. It all depends on how they opt to build the routes in tow. But obviously, if you've got all three players as their base cards initially, then it at least covers you for that shortfall. With all of them as well, European journeys um, have featured their Leon and Shakhtar well, wherever or not we get there or not because European, because the UCL cards always seem to get given a use this could be the type of SBC where they get a use again and you might find your 82 plus UCL rare cards most commonly hopefully it's not just the rares they give some of the common cards a use as well um, especially with Shakhtar, because there's not too many rare Shakhtars that, that suddenly then can price fix, you'd end up price fixing like Tyson, Marlos, Eric Katitsky, Stepanenko, uh, Payatov, so be wary of that Shakhtar influence. Leon, you'd find people will end up price fixing, um, like Fakir for example, Fakir might end up being very common for the European journeys aspect for Leon, and obviously with Sterling, 
He's got um, four England, one, eight, one or two informed night. He came for an 83 rated squad. I doubt they'll go full England. They might just give you like half the squad, being England or a third of it at least. And then obviously he played at Liverpool, so you'd have maybe even three Liverpool, one or two informed 90 chemistry. Good way to go about um, Liverpool would end up probably being like Keita. Um, I'm trying to think who else is quite relative. You might end up seeing like Henderson, Shakiri, uh, Matip, uh, Robertson, maybe even Allison to a slight extent as well. But all of them, I can see kind of similarities in all three players. Whoever wins it, they're all going to kind of have similar base routes. They're going to tweak it marginally, I think. So it could be with like David Silva, it could end up being that BBVA Spain um, Valencia influence. If it's Sani, it could be tapping into Bundesliga. And then if it's obviously tying into Sterling, it could just be a heavier EPL or even European influence. So you might see UCL, you may see other leagues tap into this as well, but you would still see, I think all the leagues may feature regardless, depending on how routes are built. But as a whole, I think it's going to be very interesting, fun in games. I personally think Sterling might just get the nod, but I think all three of them have stood out this month, so it could be very, very difficult. So as long as you're prepared for all three, I think you should find yourself well and truly covered for um, November's play of the month, whoever you're wanting to go for. As I said, all the information is in the overlays as always. I'll be tweeting out as much as I can and posting in discords as well. So hopefully you find this useful, folks. Let me know in the comments down below who you would like for the November EPL Player of the Month. Smash the like as always, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Jesus Legend, and I will catch you all later.